All right. We are going to be talking about unit rates and converting different things. And this is just a fun activity I like. It's uh, searching for sloths um, because who doesn't like sloths? So hopefully you have read the searching for sloths um, thing and we are on kind of the math portion of it. So finding unit rates. Let's go over our examples real quick. Rates of speed are a type of ratio that's gonna compare distance traveled to the amount of time. So it's distance versus how much time it took. Um, a unit rate is simplified so that the denominator is one. For example, I don't wanna say um, I walked five miles in three hours. I wanna compare how many miles I would walk in one hour. Um, so a unit rate does that. So here's an example. One scientist observed a mother sloth rushing to her baby in answer to its distress call. She traveled 25 feet in two minutes. That's rushing. What was her speed in miles per hour? The first thing that we're going to do is set up a ratio with distance in our numerator and time in the denominator. It's 25 feet per, that per means that we're doing a division sign, 25 feet per two minutes. She traveled 25 feet in two minutes. For every two minutes, she traveled 25 feet. That is not a unit. Um, I wanna change this, like, first of all, if I were making that into a unit um, or a unit rate, I would divide this by two twos because I want this to be a one. So this is kind of like a separate little problem. If I were to divide this by two twos, that would mean she's traveling 12 and a half feet for every one minute. That's just, that would be what your unit rate is. Um, but what they're saying is, what is her speed in miles per hour? Oh, so this is called a conversion table. And this is a really awesome thing. I learned how to do this in chemistry when I was in high school. Um, we need to change feet into miles and we need to change minute into hours. So this is kind of a couple step process here. We want to convert feet into, uh, what are we converting? Feet into miles. So we start with our 25 feet per two minutes. And I am going to multiply this by a conversion factor. Um, what we did up here is we divided um, by two, two. Technically, we're dividing by one. And you guys know that when we multiply or divide anything by one, we're not changing its value. So this conversion factor is a really funky way of saying one. Because we know, or maybe you don't, but you will learn, that 5,280 feet is the same as one mile. So these two um, measurements are the same. So if I'm multiplying by one mile over 5,280 feet, I'm technically just multiplying by one because these are the same thing. But what happens here is when I have feet in my numerator and feet in my denominator, the feet kind of cancel out. Think of it as feet divided by feet equals nothing. And for my measurements, for my units of measure, I am left with miles in my numerator and I'm left with minutes in my denominator. So I just converted um, feet into miles, which I like. So I have my units of measurement. Now I'm just going to do the math. 25 times 1 is 25. 2 times 5,280 is 10,560. This means that 25 feet for every two minutes is the same as 25 miles for every uh, 10,560 minutes. Hmm, that's how much the sloth can travel. So I converted feet into miles, which is good, but I don't have it in hours, I have it in minutes. So I'm gonna do the same thing in step three. I'm gonna multiply by a conversion factor. So I'm gonna start with what I know, which is here, 25 miles for every 10,560 minutes. 
and I want to change minutes to hours. My conversion factor, well, I know that 60 minutes is the same as one hour, right? So 60 minutes over one hour, that's just another way, a fancy way of saying one. I'm multiplying by one. I'm not changing the value at all. I'm just changing how it looks. So, and how do I know how to set up this conversion factor? If I have minutes in my denominator, I wanna have minutes in my numerator so they cancel out. So that's kind of how that works. It seems tricky at the beginning, but once you practice it, it'll make more sense and you'll start doing it more intuitively. So let's go ahead and multiply by my conversion factor. Let's cancel out our units of measure. Minutes in my denominator, minutes in my numerator, minutes over minutes, they cancel out, they're gone. Now I'm just left with, in my denominator, I'm left with miles, which is what I want. And in my denominator, I'm just left with an hour, which is what I want. So now for my units of measure, I have miles per hour. That's what I want. Now let's deal with our numbers. 25 times 60 is 1,500. 10,560 times one is 10,560. Huh. So 25 minutes or 25 feet for every two minutes is the same as 1,500 miles per every 10,560 hours. That is not a unit rate. Like if I were to say this is how fast I travel, I'd be like, um, okay. I want for a unit rate, I want my denominator to be one because that's gonna make way more sense to my brain. So here we go. In order for my denominator to be one, I need to divide my denominator by 10,560 right? Because 10,560 divided by 10,560 is one. That's what I want. Again, I'm going to multiply by a form, uh, divide by a form of one here. If I divide my num denominator by 10,560, I got to divide my numerator by 10,560. So 1,500 divided by 10,560, get your calculator out. That turns out to be 0.14. Oh, here's a case where I do have a decimal and a fraction, and that's okay. So, whew, all this to set up. Miss Sloth is traveling 25 feet in two minutes. That is the same speed or the same rate as traveling 0.14 miles, which is like less than one time around a track in one hour. She's going pretty slow. I hope her little baby isn't too distressed.